Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a discovery that will blow your mind. In an astounding feat of human exploration, a team of fearless scientists has just opened a sealed cave that has been untouched for 5 million years. And what they found inside is nothing short of incredible. Are you ready to see what lies beneath the Earth's surface, hidden from human eyes for millions of years? Then don't miss out on this incredible video. From the moment the team of experts set foot inside the cave, they knew they were onto something special. The air was thick with anticipation as they carefully navigated through the dark and winding tunnels, never knowing what lay around the next corner. But what they found inside this ancient cave is beyond anything they could have imagined. We're talking about an incredible discovery that could change the way we understand the history of our planet forever. It's something so extraordinary that we simply can't keep it to ourselves. That's right, we need your help to spread the word about this incredible discovery. So if you want to be the first to witness this groundbreaking moment in human history, make sure you hit the subscribe button smash that like button and leave a comment down below to show your support for our channel. Trust us, you won't want to miss out on this one-of-a-kind discovery. Scientists find 33 new species in a sealed cave. What do you suppose you would discover inside a completely sealed off cave after 5 million years of complete seclusion from the outside world? Dinosaurs? Ancient bugs? Alien life evidence, anyone? Nobody knew until Dr. Christian Lescu of Romania eventually broke open the Moval Cave. Except for a few animals that had evolved to be able to live there, no living thing had entered the cave for approximately 5 million years prior to that. The cave was sealed off from the outside world for so long that fresh air was totally absent, making the air inside noxious and oppressively humid. But these circumstances not only made it possible for extraordinary life to develop, but also for it to flourish. Some animals are simply so flexible and dissimilar from humans that they can live in places where we'd never think to settle down. The ancient time capsule is home to 48 different species, including spiders, scorpions, centipedes, and a wide variety of other creatures. Surprisingly, 33 of the creatures discovered are unique to this particular grotto and exist nowhere else on Earth. They have been around for longer than contemporary humans have, but because they lived in isolation inside a sealed cave, no one has ever found them. Nearly all of the creatures that inhabit the mobile grotto are completely blind and devoid of all pigments that give color. The organisms evolved incredibly long antennae, limbs, and other physical characteristics in order to navigate the tunnel without the use of vision. When a creature exists in complete darkness, does it really need eyesight? But it's imperative to have backup plans in case you can't see in the gloom. The majority of these creatures are unlike anything we've ever seen. In a place where the ecosystem never receives any sunlight, evolution certainly does look different. The area is also home to a distinctive ecosystem that makes use of the dangerous gases in the tunnel. Even though we can't breathe these gases to survive in such an ecosystem, some kinds of organisms can actually flourish on them. The various kinds of microbes must engage in a process known as chemosynthesis in order to consume food. This technique uses toxic gas in place of sunlight and transforms it into a sustenance for the bacteria, which is similar to the photosynthesis process that plants use on the surface. Chemosynthesis enables creatures to produce food by using chemical reactions to produce energy. Naturally, these smaller organisms become food for bigger organisms once they have produced their own food from the air. While scorpions, spiders, and invertebrates consume the smaller animals, worms, shrimp, and other small creatures eat the bacteria. As a result, everything inside the cave can continue to live and thrive in a perfect cycle of life that is entirely self-sufficient. Moval Cave is the only ecosystem of its kind on dry ground. However, comparable environments exist in the ocean depths where organisms coexist with hydrothermal vents and support a lot of the same kinds of life. Moval Cave has been accessible to researchers for 30 years, has the potential to reveal a wealth of fresh data regarding the course of evolution, but there is still much to learn about this region on the globe. How did these animals end up trapped in the cave? 
Despite some plausible theories, experts are still baffled as to how the animals ended up in the cave in the first place. Many scientists think that the bacteria in the cave have been there for much longer than 5 million years, but that other animals may have crawled or fell into a hole just before Mother Earth sealed it up. They had to learn to live on what was available once they were locked inside, and over time, they evolved to thrive on their scarce resources. According to J. Colin Morell, a microbiologist from the University of East Anglia, it's very likely that the bacteria have been there for a lot longer than 5 million years, but that the insects became trapped there around that time. The limestone cast could have easily dropped, trapping them inside and sealing the cave until it was rediscovered in 1986. In the Moval Cave, there is still much that needs to be explored and learned, and scientists will probably continue to study this amazing site for many years to come. Would you like to explore this amazing grotto and observe the rare life forms that occupy it? How do you suppose they got there? Hidden Ecosystem A few months ago, researchers in Antarctica stumbled across an unusual detail. Satellite images showed that a subglacial river was hiding beneath the mighty Larsen ice shelf. In order to discover the secret of this hidden world, the experts drilled down about 500 meters. What the lowered camera then caught surprised the wildest dreams of the experts. To all appearances, hundreds of blurry spots danced through the water. At first, the researchers thought something was wrong with their equipment, but the equipment worked perfectly. After refocusing the camera, it became clear that what they thought were spots were actually myriad tiny crustaceans called anthropods. Since the experts had never expected to find life at such depths, their jaws immediately dropped. Researchers have long suspected that a complex network of rivers and lakes lies dormant beneath the Antarctic ice. But unfortunately, this has hardly been explored to date. As spectacular as the discovery of the hidden ecosystem may be, it also shows the experts, once again, how many secrets there are to still be unraveled in Antarctica. Accordingly, the nature of the subglacial river presented itself completely differently than the researchers had previously suspected. Bizarre Life Forms As if the discovery just presented wasn't exciting enough, in 2021, the Antarctic researchers made an equally sensational bang. This time, however, the groundbreaking find was not hidden at a depth of 500 meters, but at a full 900 meters under the dense ice sheet. There, the expert's camera captured some surreal-looking formations that remained in their round heads and long stalks on the rocks of the secret underwater world. This discovery is particularly unusual because according to our current knowledge, it should not actually exist. Previously, the existence of sedentary creatures under such extreme circumstances was simply ruled out. But then, how do these creatures survive the impenetrable darkness, freezing temperatures, and scarce food supply of their homes? In this regard, experts assume that as the yet unidentified creatures, which are probably sponges, feed on dead plankton that have already drifted countless kilometers through the ocean. However, the complete decoding of this revolutionary find is still a long way off. We currently do not know how old the creatures are, nor whether we are really dealing with a new species. Huge Jungle International experts were deeply impressed by the sensational discovery made by a team of speleologists in China a few months ago. Accordingly, the researchers in the Guangxi Autonomous Region encountered a huge sinkhole that resembles a natural time capsule. A perfectly preserved primeval forest slumbers at the bottom of the 300-meter-long and 150-meter-wide pit. After repelling into the isolated forest world, the exploration team encountered shoulder-high shrub and trees over 100 feet tall. But that's not all. The scientists suspect that the forest is also home to countless small animals that are currently completely unknown to us. Such sinkholes typically occur in karst areas. These landforms form when rain absorbs carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, forming carbonic acid. The slightly acidic precipitation then seeps into the cracks and openings in a rock. As the rainwater dissolves calcite, marble, and dolomite, it forms the characteristic caves, streams, and cesspools. San Dong Ho what animal secrets are slumbering in the Chinese sinkhole remains to be found out in the future. The Sondong Cave in Vietnam 
shows us how groundbreaking the decoding of such a hidden world can be. First discovered in 1991, this massive complex stretches 9 kilometers in length, counting at least 150 individual caves. However, we don't just come across barren stone walls and bizarre stalactite formations here. In fact, there are also lakes, rivers, and even a jungle of their own. The cave jungle not only includes some rare plants, such as certain orchids and hues, but also a number of newly discovered animal species. Since the fauna could flourish here undisturbed, the Sundong Cave is now home to over 100 species of mammals, 70 different species of birds and fish, and 60 species of amphibians, animals we didn't know anything about before exploring the cave, including the gray-shanked duck and the Seoa antelope. Since 2013, tourists have also been allowed to take a look at this breathtaking complex. If you want to be one of the 700 people who are allowed to visit the Songdong Cave between February and August, you have to shell out about 3,000 euros and be in good physical condition. In order to reach the cave, which lies deep in the heart of the jungle, several days are necessary. 224 New Species How many secrets the terrestrial animal and plant world still hides becomes clear to us when we look at the numerous new discoveries that have been recorded within a year of the riparian states of the Southeast Asian Mekong. Accordingly, the range of flora and fauna could be expanded by 155 plants, 35 reptiles, 17 amphibians, 16 fish, and one mammal. The latter is the Popa longar, a species of monkey that reaches a body length of 60 centimeters and weighs a good 8 kilos. In the highlands of Vietnam, researchers came across the spadefoot frog. Although the small amphibian has only been just discovered, it is already in danger. Its natural habitat is threatened by deforestation. The appearance of this new gecko is particularly interesting. It looks as though the upper body fell into a yellow-orange paint pot while its abdomen is presented in a shade of gray. No other known animal on the globe has such a two-tone coat of paint. This color separation acts as a sophisticated camouflage mechanism. When the gecko is sitting on a moss-covered rock, it is hardly recognizable. The Amazon Rainforest With an ecosystem that has been evolving for tens of thousands of years and a size of 5.5 million square kilometers, it is not unexpected that many areas of the Amazon rainforest are still unexplored. When Europeans first arrived in South America, there was a lot of early exploration due to how dense and hostile the jungle was. Many Spanish explorers entered the jungle in search of the mythical city of El Dorado. Many of them perished in their quest for gold, but those who lived returned with maps of the Amazon River and tales of the allegedly cruel natives. At first, people thought that legends about the natives were exaggerations, particularly since some people thought that the jungle might be hiding a sophisticated society. Given how terrible the soil in the Amazon is for producing crops, it was thought that this couldn't be the case. Any natives found in the jungle were believed to be from simpler hunter-gatherer tribes. Such tribes are still present in the Amazon today. Near the intersection of Brazil's borders with Peru and Colombia is the region known as Vale de Javari, which is located in the center of the jungle. There are more pre-Columbian tribes there than anywhere else in the Amazon, but no one from outside the area is allowed to approach. It's untrue to claim that humans never visited. Sixteen clans are thought to be present there. They are modern humans, though they haven't been in touch with anyone and have only been observed from above. The remainder of the Amazon was once thought to be an uninhabited natural wilderness, but it is now only sporadically populated. But as researchers discovered, this may not be the case despite scientists thinking they were the first to set foot in some areas. The Amazon has some of the world's least fertile soil. Despite how it appears, it is for this reason that clearing the woodland to plant crops fails. However, there are some parts of the woodland that don't have this flimsy soil. Researchers have discovered seemingly random areas of fertile black soil that contain traces of charcoal and bone meal. These appear to be remnants of ancient farms that were maintained by a long-gone civilization. This demonstrates that even the areas we presume to be uninhabited by humans have been visited by our distant ancestors. 